Good evening. Sonny Rabo live here tonight on Lagos Television. And uh, we'll be discussing geometry as a way of life. Interesting, eh? Geometry, mathematics, calculus, algebra, everything that has to do arithmetic, everything that has to do with calculations of sorts and how it affects human mind is what we'll discuss tonight. Because I have somebody in the studio who will probably intrigue you when you see him and listen to what he has to say. Geometo, that's what he is or described as. And um, he will tell us what geometry is. For those of you who have been to school before, and I know many of us have been to school, you know there's mathematics, there's calculus, applied maths, algebra, but there's geometry. So maybe life started with geometry. See, our table tonight is filled with papers, and uh, we're going to be talking and giving symbols and trying to ascribe symbolic meanings to whatever is de designed on the stage, on the table rather. I'm pleased to introduce to you Orishere Neye Okotiebo. Orishere Neye Okotiebo. Okay, and uh, he's a man, he's a mathematician first and foremost, and we will talk from there on. What's geometry? Let's start with that. All right. Geometry is, uh, like you said, you know, uh, it's a way of life. Okay. You know, and uh, it has to do with uh, competition measurement, you know, of uh, what is in your wet wear. That's okay. what is in between your ears. Okay. All right. So as a geometer, what does that mean? Well, what do you do then? Yeah, geometer is just uh, a title, you know, uh, mm. for those that are companion of the compass. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> companion. So if I have a compass and I keep it to myself or I use it all the time, I depend on it, so it's my companion. No, no, not in that sense. Okay. In, in sense of dialoguing okay. with the compass, <laughs> in terms of calibration with the compass, okay. in terms of reasoning with the compass. Reasoning? Yes. How does that affect us? Human mind, as I introduce this program, Geometry as it affects human mind, human behavior, and all of that. Can you sort of explain it further for us? Well, we look when we're talking about mind, mm -hmm. we're looking at physicality. Oh. You know, uh, the body. You know, not just mind alone. Yeah. Also, body, and then we can move it into spirit. These are vocabularies. Okay. We are developing <coughs> vocabularies. <Excuse> the <coughs> the <coughs> vocabulary we use for grammar. And the grammar we use for persuasive speaking, otherwise rhetoric. <laughs> so, me, I'm paid to talk. Yes. I've spent most of my adult life talking on radio, TV. That's what I am known for. So, is there calculations, geometry in my way of talking? Uh, well, you know. <clears throat> or reasoning? Well, uh, like I said earlier, you know, apart from geometry, yes. every other discipline speculative so one what, what does this geometry do for us you know we're going to get into some of the implications okay you know one what we're doing you know we'll be using the intuition the intuition becomes a guide for our intellect and okay. other psychomotive things we do okay so if I express myself in a way as you are my friend yes so will you read my mind when I want to talk to you about you or about me? Well, it's not about mind reading. From a blank sheet of paper, uh -huh. when we have a blank sheet of paper, you introduce, uh, for example, two points, you know, on a blank sheet of paper. Yes. You know, uh, is this, they seen the blank sheet of paper. Sure. We introduce two, you know, uh, the first point. So let's, let's use vocabularies. Like okay. I said, we are developing vocabularies. Yes. So the first figure, we call it figure square root of zero. It's a blank sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. The second one, arbitrarily, you know, we put a point here, and we call this A for vocabulary purposes. And this is just from arbitrarily placed on the blank sheet of paper. Then we move. This one will be a figure square root of one. Then we go. 
to the next figure. What we are doing systematically, we are reproducing the previous, you know, uh, pages mm -hmm. or figures. Mm -hmm. Now we call this one for vocabulary purposes. It can be other names, so it's just like a thought process. Okay. So this one again, we say A, B. Now we brought it. We call this one figure square root of uh, two. By the way, this can be done. It's teachable to children and with an iota of spiritual attention, adults also can grab what we are doing here. Okay. Now, this interests me to a point of reasoning. Yeah. Because it means that everything we do, every thought process, has a kind of geometric calculation. That's exactly what I'm saying. You know, yeah. the points, actually what we're doing is calibrating the points. The points on the plane, mm. what we're doing, and so your thought processes can be calibrated in points. Okay. Like I gave you an example earlier. Yes. Like this. Okay. It's a, Let me put it to yeah, the camera. This, this is a regular polygon. Yes. It all started from a blank sheet of paper. The first fig, you know, uh, figure, square root of zero, we label it. Uh -huh. you know, and you know, uh, through some systematic approach, yes. th this got to do with systems. Through some systematic approach, we're able to uh, put two points initially, the two points, you know, are uh, uh, developed into this. We already, our goal, we knew that our goal, you know, was to construct a regular polygon that is divided into 36 parts. And so this is the superimposed version, you know, and so you see this final product here, we have square root of we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 36. 36 uh -huh. representing, for example, the 36 states in Nigeria with the federal okay. capital at the center. You know, so this is a mandala, uh, a relationship of what it will look like when the 36 states yeah. are working in, in, in articulations. In yeah. articulation, yeah, which yeah. means when yeah. they are talking and reasoning together, that's right. there will be no what, reason for yes, some. Yeah. Let me go a little bit, you know. Some states will say, I cannot pay 30,000 minimum wage. Yes. Some say, okay, I will risk it, I will pay it. Well, in this kind of design now, there's yeah. a kind of, is there a synergy of thoughts? Well, you know, of course, when, when, you know, when it comes to synergy, that means, you know, you know, two areas or two relationships mm -hmm. are operating, you know, simultaneously. Simultaneously, okay. You know, so let, this is, you know, I, I just want to go back a little bit, not really back now, you know. You, you see, there's a saying that when we hear, so when we, when we hear, we tend to forget when so we hear, we, we tend, tend to, to forget. forget. Ancient saying, of course. You okay. Know. Uh, and, but when we see like this, okay. or when we see like this, we tend to remember. remember. So, so, but then when we do, then we tend to imbibe this uh -huh. uh, stuff, so the, the yeah, hearing, seeing, seeing and, and doing. doing. Yeah. <laughs> so these are visual representation. These are prototypes mm -hmm. ready for machine language. You know, and so, for example, you know, uh, there are certain structures, you know, medically, medical wise, there are certain structures, uh, diseases like AIDS, HIV, mm -hmm. you know, sickle cell and other virological diseases. Yes. Their structure is not linear. And that's why the big pharmaceutical are having issue with resolution in terms of vaccine, you know, uh, and other, you know, solutions. Mm -hmm. So because the structures of these diseases are not linear yeah. now that's why we need you know science need to go you know to forms where they can now easily address with this nonlinear from numbers. what you are yeah. saying yes, yes. it's medical possible wise. therefore medical wise yes the implications we are starting we can this actually is an assertion. Cure. yes well no you see the, the stuff is going on you know uh, in mm -hmm. terms of cure you know, and all of that. This, they usually don't have cures. Just, you know, they're dealing with symptoms. But what I'm saying to you, us now... I like that. Yeah, well, they don't well, have cure, but they're dealing with symptoms. Well, mm -hmm. you know, get to the roots. But what I'm discussing about these yes. uh, uh, forms, these are not 
you know, straight line, linear forms. Okay. These are non-linear, and these therefore can deal with the non-linear structures of these diseases. That's in the medical area. Yeah. But when we go to ICT, yeah. which is the name of the game now for mm -hmm. the youths, I know, and not just youths, in terms of youth development, mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, unemployed uh, graduates, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, you know, now they can, you know, uh, acquire a skill. These are skill acquisition that can enable them to become employer of labor, mm -hmm. you know, but that's as they go on further in understanding this system that is here, and then we can move into, you know, we've left, we've left the analog, mm -hmm. and we're now in the digital era. Mm -hmm. Now we have the vision, you know, it's happening now. That's uh, something we heard today in the in the church. It's happening now. It's happening now. You know, uh, they can now, you know, move into fractal digital computing, which is the next, you know, uh, development <laughs> we'll be going into. I'm enjoying what you're saying yes. in so many different ways. But then, the, let me take you back to something you said a moment ago. Yes. Digital mind, people, if, even a non-graduate or somebody on a, a graduate who has no job, yeah. if, he, if he focuses his mind to something, will now just go into it. Yes. But let me, they say I should take a break. Yeah. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back after the messages. Good, thank you. Yeah. When you see the Lebanese man coming here or the Indian coming here, they didn't come because of our... our our beach, our, our shores are green or something. <laughs> they came because they identified achievable opportunities. So what is blinding us as, a Niger as Nigerian youth from identifying those opportunities? It's only here that a man is 50, he's still dragging pot of rice with his siblings, and he's still a youth. The countries that these people are running to, if those citizens run away from their own country this same way, there will be nowhere to run to. Stay in your house and fix your problems. When you negotiate the price of greatness, you settle for mediocrity. Every nation that you see people highly patriotic, they've been taught, they've been, it's been ingrained in them from birth. You meet the average American, he's almost arrogant to a point. Back in the day, in the 60s, when I used to beg Nigerians to come to school abroad, people would go out in Europe and when the people in the shop saw Nigerians, they would slam the door shut because we're ready to spend money. <laughs> you know, we don't have that anymore. Yes. Okay, so we're getting agitated and getting really wired up because calculus, sorry, geometry. <laughs> well, geometry. Even, even calculus, uh, the derivative yeah. of it. The geometry suddenly has come to the center of gravity, pulling the weight of all the sources of knowledge and saying, hey, there's a lot we can achieve without necessarily going into rhetorics. Yes. You know, you, you, know, you were speaking earlier on about the unemployed graduates. Yes. But actually, we've uh, tested this technology, you know, in the United States for about, you know, uh, 20 years mm. you know, for, for us. And we were dealing with the jeeps, like I said. The jeeps are the generally ignored potential skills. That mean, a carpenter, the lower level categories in the offices, people that prepare the offices and all of that, the bus drivers, you know, they, they, can, they, you know, they can be trained to have an understanding because this is an hands-on you know, uh, process that enables the intuition to become a guide to our intellect and the psychomotive thing. So what are we saying now in terms of how you know, uh, these systems can manifest mm -hmm. you know, properly in our environs? We need, for example, to retrain teachers. We need, for example, to retrain lecturers. We need, for example, to retrain other professionals. You know? mm -hmm. And so, you know, because we are not dealing with a system that is more enhancing. <sighs> we need also to look at spirituality. Yes, you know, uh, you know, like like in the uh, same way you're looking at teachers, lecturers, and all of pastors, prayer warriors. Let's look at the 
wholesomeness of all of these things, where is geometry in the process of thought process? Well, you know, like I said to you, you yeah, like I said to us mm. earlier on, mm. you know, we started from a blank sheet of paper. Yes. And uh, uh, you mentioned only few things. Spirituality is just one point. It's just one point. So the geometry enables us to see what we are thinking about. Mm. And so, you know, uh, whether it's a spirituality, whether it's a uh, sacred science, whether it's sacred arts, whether it's sacred law, those are vocabularies that you've developed in the process of, you know, unfolding Why this. Why are we not applying our vocabularies in the process of developing nationhood, developing communities, you know, where somebody does not just single-handedly say, this is the way to go, even though he may not be right, and everybody just follows him hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, I think we are developing, we are using these things, but, sure. you know, maybe not enough, hmm. you know, and there are new innovations now coming that we need to be able to address, you know. So how do we do this will be another story, you know. Okay. And there well, is every human being a mathematician or a geometrician or well, a geometer? Yeah, well, we, we, all of us have the capability because all of us were born with, you know, basic structure you know then what about the timing the time we all have 24 hours in a day mm. you know uh, some of us sleep eight hours that's like one third already mm. you know if you sleep one third of 24 hours you know you know <laughs> then, <laughs> then, then you know uh, you have an issue you know you yeah know. but isn't that what's needed to keep the brain no say rest active? rest i think rest i'm not in medicine but i know you know, you just need more rest. When I use not that word, sleep. yeah, I'm just saying not more sleep. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, you need sleep. Yeah. But rest is very, very important. You know, and I'm speaking about, you know, uh, we having the same relative time. Okay. You know, but the use of that time is different for each one of us. Ah, there are some designs you have done. Yes. And I hope that they, they, they will show it on the screen so that we can talk to them one after the other. Please. Now, now let's go back to basics. Yes. You started with a, f a dot. Yeah, well, we started from a blank page. Yes. You know, we started from a blank page. Okay. And, just, and then... Okay, let, let's let, look at this one now. Yeah, okay. This, can you see that? Yes, yes, okay. yes. You know. Right. Uh, th that drawing there I did in 1990, what does this represent? Well, you know, uh, it represents what, what, what you see there, you know, is more than we can talk about. You know, uh, that's the superimposed version, like I was telling you. Mm -hmm. That's the superimposed version. You just see the finished product. Okay. But t before we got there, you know, it started with uh, a, a blank page and then we label for vocabulary purposes. I can't see too well from there. Yeah, okay. We, they, so we, we label. If you if you notice right there, the they say a a green or is a, a vertical line okay. and uh, a black uh, horizontal. horizontal line. Right. And so uh, where they cross, where they cross is the center. Yes. Of this. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, of this form. Yeah, form. Okay. But this form here, yeah, uh, we're talking about, you know, a, a square in a square and about concentric circles. So square in a square, yes, concentric but, circles. Yes, yes, I yes. I see triangles and, and, there. Yes, and and that. there are various forms, like I was saying, but what particularly is the implication of this? These are forms. This, for example, is one of three forms okay. that we must look at in terms of this new arithmetic you know it's not really new uh, ancient arithmetic but you know uh, the other one will be you know that's the square is yeah. one of the uh, yeah. the three forms okay. then the other form is uh, an equilateral triangle you know uh, this this one here is a regular polygon that is you know divided into four parts you know the other form is a regular polygon uh, you know that is divided into three parts and then the third one it's a regular polygon that is divided into five parts. Uh, then all other forms, all the structures, 
comes through a truncated version of either the square and the Pentagon or the Pentagon and, you know, and, and so on. And so, of course, the interrelation and the inarticulation are kept on, you know, it's going on. Yeah. You know, there, yes. Okay. Does the mind, the human mind, he said the human mind can be <laughs> negative uh, or positive? Yeah. Well, you so, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Positive, negative. Mm -hmm. Some people will say white is uh, positive and black is negative. So again, is the coordination. We need positive. Then another person will see a white and they say, oh, this is light. Then they see uh, the, the, the other yeah. one, they yeah. say dark. Mm -hmm. But some of us say light is actually, uh, uh, you know, from the darkness. So, mm. so, so darkness is like the light you don't see. Mm. No. <laughs> so that's looking at the power of positive thinking. Uh, and uh, you know, but but that power of positive thinking involves both the positive and negative thought yes. processes. Okay. So, if I want to, if I'm in charge of a community, that's right. And I want things to move um positively yes successfully yes what would i be saying therefore what kind of language will i be applying well you know uh, if you, okay, i'll just say you know you 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 have to think about how to develop systems that becomes sustainable you know that's uh -huh. uh, now we're talking about sustainability yes you know and most of the time whether in leadership you know why things are not functioning properly right. It's because we are not seeing too clearly. And once you don't have a clear thought process, hmm. it's, it's difficult for us to do critical thinking. Ha! Ah, corruption is a major issue. Yeah. Where is corruption in this scheme of designs and everything? Well, you know, this the, it could be... But if you're talking about critical cr thinking... Yes. <laughs> how do you deal with corruption uh, uh, with or without critical Thinking. Yeah, well, we, uh, we, 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 you know, the, uh, uh, don't forget I just said, you know, if we are not seeing clearly, hmm. then we cannot think clearly. critical. Th no, we know we we can we, uh, we we need to be able to think clearly, yes. so we can now do critical thinking. Okay, you know, uh, in the first place, you know, when, when you talk about corruption, yes. you know, uh, this corruption thing is. You know, a mindset. Okay. You know, so uh, uh, you know when you, you talked about being in leadership mm -hmm. or for a community. Yeah. You know, but when you are developing a system, the system, you know, uh, for sustainability, yeah. you know, following natural forms, mm -hmm. uh, corruption. You know, won't play too much part because you have a system that is in place. So, so yeah, synergized, and yeah. you cannot just penetrate it and break it and mess, mess it up. You know, when the, uh, the appropriate system is in place. So, uh, therefore, we say in the estimation of the right thinking members of the society, yes, certain things that should not be allowed to apply should not ap should never gain ground in application. Well, my English calculus, or am I doing geometry? Well, I'm yeah. to think. <laughs> yeah, well, I told you earlier on, this is uh, transdisciplinary. Okay. You know, this technology is transdisciplinary. And uh, it depends on y your thought process. Uh, if you, uh, if we're thinking about a system that is functional, we have a system that is not functional. Okay. The electricity is not working. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't take a rocket scientist. You know, uh, the school system, the, uh, the, 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 the curriculum, mm -hmm. there is, the essence is uh, uh, not, you know, practical. Mm -hmm. Mongo Park founded River Ninja. When River Ninja it, it, had existed. It, 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 it existing. There's a place, Emma, there's a place whatever. I came from called Uburodo. Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, today it's known popularly by others as Escravos, a Portuguese word for slave. You know, oh, and wow. so, you see, there are things we are capable of doing, you know. So I will, I will end up like you know this uh, segment like this. There are things we know. One, you know, uh, this, this was a movie that came out yeah. uh, several uh, uh, about a decade ago. Yeah. There are things we know. There are things we know 
that are not so. Hmm. And there are things we do not know that are so. So, <laughs> yeah. no, you, you just said two things that yeah. blew my mind. Yes. I've always been worried about why Mongo Park should discover River Niger. Well, this what are do you the, mean by discovery? Uh, well, these are part and of... That was in 1851, so yeah, yeah, well, how does yeah. that become a sense? Yeah, these are some of the things we were talking about. So we need to go back again to and see what is really going on. The, the makers Esquabos. of Nigeria... Yes, Nigeria is a... Uh, uh, you know, it's an entity that, you know, uh, originated more from uh, the, the past colonial uh, uh, people. Mm -hmm. And so we need to revisit, you know, uh, our in, thought in process. Sense, yes. Our history was not correct. Yes. That's it, what you're saying. Yeah, well, you know, uh, I'm not the one saying it. Okay. The well, history, what we are sorry, doing. Yeah. History we were taught. Yeah, well, some of the history. Some of the, some yeah. of the history we were yeah, taught. Yes, you know. Not correct. And there was a time I heard not too long ago that... Uh, those uh, history subjects like that were taken away from the curriculum, and now they are rebringing them. But you need just to really need to see what we are saying now is. Uh, I, I read some few things ago recently uh, from the United Nations talking about we have over 100 million children, you know, out of school. You know, wow. what, so the, what, what are you thinking so, about? Your thought yeah. process, we have philanthropists, we have rich folks, we have government. So we, children we're, should we're, never be denied education, that's what you're saying. Yes, you know, and I like, you know, so, you know, and more, and more, mm. and more. So we must find a way. The time has come for our children to learn the new arithmetic that will enable them to have, you know, proper level playing field. You know? Mm -hmm. um, only recently I saw, they say in UK, a Nigerian family uh, was rated as producing children of the best academics, um, educational, whatever. You know, uh, the Imafidon children. Yes, yes. The Imafidon yes, yes, family. Yes. That is the very, very best in the UK. Record broken. Yes. And that the youngest, she, the, the best, the, the young girl, entered the university at the age of 11. Whoa. And I said, oh, if that person had been in Nigeria, if that family had been in Nigeria when this was happening, would they have the same opportunity to capture that position through dint of knowledge and hard work? Well, you know, uh, you can look, you know, some of these questions you are asking, mm. uh, inquiries you, uh, you already have, you know, uh, some resolution, you know, <laughs> yourself, you know, <laughs> because uh, now we're talking, you know, two different things, and we know, like what we're saying, the investment in education, science and technology, information, you know, uh, technology, uh, youth development, mm -hmm. you know, those are the things we just need. We have the resources. Let's just create few good men and transform you know, uh, uh, our thought processes yeah. for more impact, you know, technology that can be impactful. ICT is what is going on now, mm. and we must not be left behind. So what we need, for example, most of this work we are doing, we are calibrating in square root number. Science is running into problem of nonlinearity. So in the studio here, we are one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. But the square root of 36 is also 6. Wait a minute. 1, 2, yeah. 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, yes. you're right. Yeah, wow. but, <laughs> yeah, but the square root of 36 is also 6. So you have a simple question. I, you know, on the number line, you say 1, 2, 3, 4. You know, I just go. I can see that. I'm seeing that. You have a number line here. You say this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hmm. This 0 and 1, you know, artificial intelligence has done a lot. The television cameras we are using and this technology mm -hmm. is great. They've done that. But, you know, if we are going to, you know, uh, model precisely any biologically significant molecules, mm -hmm. like I say, we need to go to the square root numbers. And if we go to the square root numbers, you find out by the time we get to square root of two, uh, square root of four, it be two. Square root of nine is three. Square root of 16 is four. Square root of 25 is uh, five, and then square root of, you know, 36 is six. So we still have these more enriching numbers mm. within this first six. 
Yes. Hold on the square root there. Yes, yes. We'll take a short break. When yeah. we come back, we'll be really talking about certain things. How did Mike Mark Zuckerberg, yes. Steve Jobs, or the two Steves of uh, Apple, yes. and uh, Bill Gates and Co., how did they get to the level they got to yes. without even the slight, well, not slightest, formal education? Yes. There is formal yes. education, yes. but not to the fullest of it. Yes. We'll be right back. I want to see a Nigeria that works. I want to see a Nigeria that wherever, whenever I leave this country, mm. that I'll be proud of that passport. Lagos. Lagos is a proof that Nigeria can work. Mm. Accountability is not part of our system because nobody has demanded it. And until you demand something, it mm. won't be given. When young people leave the shores of this country and they go overseas, they, they spread their wings, they excel. So there must be something fundamentally wrong with our space. Yeah. It's been taken over by demonic, evil people. There's no way uh, anyone can go overseas and see how things work and then come back on that plane. And as you are landing in Lagos <laughs> or in Abuja or wherever, no, we have to yes. be real. Yeah. As you land, you go, OK, welcome home. We love our country. There's no doubt about mm. it. But you land and you know, here we go. It pays the strong political actors to have weak institutions. You see, it is the politics of the pay pocket where they, they deliberately emasculate our people financially, economically, where you have young men whose take home pay can't take them home. Okay, so um, those of you who want to call, this is a deep-rooted conversation, I know, but call us. The number is always on the screen. Just call us. We have a few more minutes to take some calls while we discuss some more. Mark Zuckerberg, yes. Facebook. Yes. In fact, 30 years ago, there was no Facebook. Yes. Um, Steve Jobs, well, 35 years ago, computer was still in its infancy of sorts. And, of course, Microsoft, Bill Gates. These are some people. In medicine, they are people. Philippe Meagwali of Nigeria, I'm told, discovered the speed of computer by 3,000% or something like that. So, this, and Nigeria is always coming out in the equation. I think that where we never reach 9B space. But please tell me, these people, what makes them different from us? You, you know, uh, 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 Bill Gates said recently in one of uh, the books I'm reading, Do It Yourself. Yes, Do It Yourself. I like yeah, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and he said... Uh, Something like, uh, you know, if the new generation, if they want to do things, they should, you know, go into areas like biology. So mm -hmm. now we're now learning more specifically now the, uh, the structures, you know, of life forms. So the investment, you ask, how did these people, you know, excel like this? Mm. The... The uh, structure, you know, uh, uh, the, the the development, you know, the, 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 there was an investment. Okay. They had investment in areas that are necessary. That were in the, yes, and development, development hmm. you know, and so in, that's what they've been knowing through their intuition, and then they go up to develop it. Yeah. Nigerian, let me now throw it at leadership. Yeah. I'm not so sure we paid enough attention to development or even research. Well, like I said to you again, you know, for those that are in government, you know, they have an understanding about that. But we have, you know, private sectors also. The, true, the, 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 the financial institutions, some of them are, you know, paying some attention mm -hmm. to, you but know, that things enough? that are, it's not enough, but at least, you know, progress, the uh, telecommunication and uh, the oil and gas, you know, marketing. You know, so there are various areas that there can be collaboration. We can have think tank of the public, you know, that's the government mm. and the private, private sector, sector mm. to, to drive, you know, uh, other policies that we need in terms of R&D. I notice that you're always saying overstanding instead of understanding. You want to share the secret? Well, well, you know, people, you know, greet in various ways. Mm -hmm. If you, you know, meet a Benema and say Koyo, Shakiri will say a real war, okay. and you know, will say good evening and all of that. 
those are just uh, conventions. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> Please call us if you want to. I think the number is on the screen. Call us, and then we can take it from there. Um, again, let's apply it to day-to-day -day interaction. That's right. Um, I want to grow with the rest of the world. Yes. But at the same time, I want in growing with the rest of the world, what if my thought and my, my ideology is not exactly with the rest of the world? Yes, you probably you know, don't want to do things about the rest of the world, like a savior. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, what is very important that I've come to find out is you, know, uh, you might not be able to change the world, but at least you can transform yourself. Once you and play a role. Yeah, yes. Once you in, yeah. in once you transform yourself, yourself. Yeah, then there's the possibility. So charity begins at home. Yeah, that you know, you, you know, people will see that and understand the energy that is uh, taking place because it's primarily about energy frequencies and vibration. We really got to uh, have an understanding about this, like some of the vocabularies we were using earlier on. Mm. You want to develop your physical self, you want to develop your mental self. All these are part of yourself, your creative self, and your spiritual self. You know, things depending on what you want to develop. Hello, good afternoon. How are you? Good evening. <laughs> good evening. <laughs> How are you? How are you, sir? I'm fine. So, yeah. what's your name? I want to contribute to the program. That yes, is. go ahead, please. <laughs> okay. Yes. Go ahead, your name. Good evening, sir. Good evening. What is your name? Okay. Please go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, thank you very much. In fact, I want to congratulate you for this program. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is exactly what Nigeria needs. Hmm. This is the type of program that is needed. Okay. So that um, Nigeria can really reach where we're supposed to reach. Okay. And okay. Uh, the real peace is deep and it's deep. Hmm. So I want to congratulate you for bringing up this program. Thank you very much. Thank you. The more of it needs to come up. We do more. Community basis and uh, bringing in philosophers to mm. be able to put their heads so that we can make our people, our students, not only to the academic, to be practically based. Thank you. Thank you. We uh, also need also to bring in, to be able to improve on our intellectual. The mm. teachers, the way they are treated in the country, the lecturers, the, until when we get the basic right, mm. we cannot go far. Mm. The foundation is very, very important. The foundation is what you are driving to do. Yes. The foundation is what you are driving to do. And I congratulate you for it. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I wish more of you. We have a lot of race in this country. Then we meet up a lot of things. Mm. We meet up a lot of things. Okay. Money is not everything. Okay? Yeah. We can uh, we can move on and move on. We can move on. We can do better than we are doing. The, the problem is we are just running like a rat. Rat race is not advanced all. So I congratulate the labor. The first place is not regretting for bringing you back here. Thank, thank you so I much. Want to what you do. Thank you again. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you so much. Well, okay. Well, congratulations to you, especially, and to me for bringing you. <laughs> um, I think the fundamentals of what you have been saying and what the caller just brought in is actually to do with how the children will be brought up to that cognitive, cognitive um, sense and developing a, a mindset that p pushes towards calculus you know before we sign off what's your message to schools teachers and students themselves yes. <clears throat> we you know like i said we 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 need to uh, uh transform not change this is not a change agenda change agenda is uh 
you know, the, 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 the residue of the old, mm -hmm. you still find. You need to transform the educational system. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the foundation got to be solid. Okay. You know, solid foundation. And uh, you cannot teach when you are, you know, you cannot teach what you don't know. Most of what we are doing in the school system is uh, teaching some things that some, like I said earlier on, you think you know, but they are not true. Mm. You know, so we have to go back. We, we've had issues, you know, uh, and all of that. You know, so once we have a solid foundation, you know, investments are done in that, then, you know, like I said, you know, uh, we can, you know, uh, grow exponentially. Okay. Uh, you know, just before I end, you know, this thing over mm. there, uh, yeah. this thing can come in here on this one. Okay. No, no, you can't come in here. These are, like I told you, these are prototypes. Okay. For example, right now, presently, you know, presently, this, you know. Let me hold it for yes, you. Yes, uh, hold yeah. me. Uh, presently, yeah. you know, uh, right, uh, presently, we do not, you know, we cannot compute precisely what square root of, uh, of uh, one is, two, three. Hmm. We, uh, when it gets to four, we know it's two, you know, uh, uh, like, like uh, when it gets to nine, we know it's three, 16, and so on. This prototype here is, you know, uh, ready again for machine language. We've been able, uh, we, we've been able, you know, to compute precisely these other square root numbers because the systems, that's what I'm talking to you about life. What we're doing now, we are mimicking more of natural intelligence, you know, and, you know, shift a little bit more away from the, uh, the artificial intelligence. So from this drawing here, you see, for example, this circle here, you know, and from this point to here, it's two. So now precisely we'll be able to show square root of one, square root of two, square root of three, square root of four, precisely, and, and, and so on and so forth. Now, before we sign off, a pose I would throw at all of us. Why is nature so perfect in its designs? Look at any animal, plant, flowers, and all of them. They have perfect designs. That's my poser for you because Okotebo is going to come back on this show in not too distant future. But thank you again for being with us, and thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okotebo is one of my fathers. Thank okay, you. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, thank you again and have a pleasant evening. Next Sunday is another date. Good night. <laughs>